Start the music. Start the engine. Start the timer. Ease our way through the gates. Hope for decent traffic. So far, so clear. That car's probably going to be annoying. Try and squeeze our way around there. Just jump the queue slightly. Yeah, that was pretty bad corner. Never mind. So Tempe Tempe Catania. This is a bit of an older run, and my time on the leaderboards for this is pretty bad. It was trying out a new route uh, that went down a different part of Italy. Now we pretty much skip all of Italy except the port of Naples, uh, which is kind of fun. Unfortunately, recent map changes I think has screwed up the intended best route for this now. So this is on the latest version, 1.45, and we're just going to have a bit of fun with it. I say we're going to have some fun, we're still taking it relatively seriously. Slide around there. Squeeze our way through there. Lovely. And we'll get ready for our first walk. So this route involves a lot of bunny hopping. And the way I'm doing it, a little bit more than what you'd normally do. Coming up to our first skip up around these bins here, trying to take the corners reasonably well. It's been a while since I've done these, so we'll see how well we manage to get this warp. Uh, I think it's about... I think we actually missed that slightly. Yeah, we, we were a bit over on that one. Never mind, that's fine. It's hard to tell with the truck there, so... Get going... My previous run also did not have the load remover, it wasn't a thing then, and I haven't gone through and removed the load times manually either, so it's an easy PB, just I say easy, involves putting the time in to actually complete a run, which involves a fair bit of luck and a decent amount of concentration which I struggle with both elements of from time to time. Unfortunately, we can't just jump down to the motorway back there. There's far too many invisible walls. That would make it so much simpler. Instead, we have to come all the way up here and then slow down and then have our engine turn off mysteriously, as it always seems to do. When I brake too hard. And now we can jump across. And go up the down ramp. And hope we don't meet anything coming the other way. Just a lot of the run is just hoping you don't meet something. And then up here we need to be able to take this corner. Which is always tricky because they're kind of cambered badly for going fast down. It's the same sort of corner that we went like 140 up, but I don't trust myself going that fast down because you just lose traction far too easily. Of course, we're driving right into the sun. Don't think it really matters the time of day that you set off for. Uh, a lot of these runs, especially since you're doing the service walks, the time of day that you are in various places just jumps all over the show. Okay, now here when you start coasting and now start braking and hope we don't spin too much because the grip on the rear wheels gives out very easily. Mm, 
can cut some of the corners up here, at least when the traffic allows for it. But we couldn't get a very good angle around there anyway. Like we can kind of cut through here, I believe. But then you end up with a sharper angle on the way out. I'm not sure it's entirely worth it. Yeah, it's taking a ton of damage. Whatever. As long as I keep 12th gear, I'm relatively happy. Just barge our way through there. The few seconds that you save by doing that, but it does make for a very awkward return to the road. I don't know. I'm not convinced. Yeah, and stop, and Travamond embark, and there's our first split. Okay, now in the real run, I mean this is a real run, but in the correct way of doing things, can we go left here? I think, I think we might go left here to make it easier to get out. Maybe. This feels right. <laughs> oh, yep. So we can sneak through there. There we go. Okay. Now, the more correct way of doing this normally would be to just do a service walk by going straight ahead up the end there. We're going to turn right and go around the corner first. I'm not entirely sure on where the point is that I should be walking. But it's just around the bend, essentially. There, I found GPS marker. Come around here, and then around here. Yeah, okay. There we go. Um, I probably shouldn't split right away there. Well, too bad. <laughs> it's a very short split. Maybe the Helsinki one should actually be the, uh... The one going to the city instead of the ferry. I said that like it matters. These splits will not last. Um, <laughs> the, these splits are purely for the sake of tracking this particular iteration of this run. It's basically just showing the current version route sort of, except that I'm sure just doing something different through Hanover is still better. Um, but this is the more fun way of doing things. Because now we need to head north in order to get close to Isbjerg. We need to be careful with how fast we go up here, otherwise we'll wash far too wide. And unfortunately this does require a fair bit of extra driving, more than we would normally want to do between legs. Which is, of course, why it's not as fast as the dead beast strategy. But we get to be a pinball, and that's fun. Much like what I was showcasing for the Istanbul to Aberdeen one that I did recently, we're making use of RTA being different to the in-game time, where ferry journeys take place instantaneously, but travel a cover a huge amount of ground. So we're going to be jumping about a bit. I don't have my splits filled out, but my current EB is something like 45 minutes. So that's an indication of what we're aiming for here. This should get under like 40, maybe. For comparison, the world record is like 31. <laughs> 
we don't expect to rival them ever, let alone anytime soon. Next service warp is up here, just before the intersection. Unfortunately, because of the presence of Odinks, we have to go so much further than we would have liked. Because otherwise we'd be able to walk from anywhere back here through to Espio. But the barrier is pretty much the like, division between zones is basically along the middle of the road along here. <laughs> Until we get to this intersection up here. I forget exactly where it is. We might be there already? No. See, there we go. There it's so dense. This bit here? Yes, Buke. It's funny how that is, isn't it? <laughs> and now we need to make our way to the ferry terminal, which thankfully is not far. And so we'll start the pinball, which unfortunately is probably going to break the load remover because it seems to have a bad habit of doing so. Yeah, a little bit further. There we go. So, Esbjerg to Hull. Okay, it stopped there. That's nice. And we're back. And next, to Europort. Embark. Oh, it did stop again. That's nice. Europort. Excellent. And travel destinations to Harwich. And it did stop again, that's nice. Pinball. <laughs> Pinball aka Fairy Madness. And now we're in the UK. And now we basically do the tail end of a Edinburgh to London run. so much traffic we'll take a little bit of extra time to navigate traffic safely especially since we're going to be losing a ton of time on this corner up here see in the old game version like v131 that we would normally use for doing edinburgh to london you can just accelerate throughout this whole corner and take this one at full speed as well which, yeah, we, we can't do that. <laughs> Not anymore. slow down a lot more for this here yeah, thankfully there's no traffic on the on-ramp we've got some tight corners up here that we have to be careful of break through here probably go past the speed camera and past the speed sign. Now we should be in London. Cool. I don't have a thing for Southampton. I'm not 100% certain if Southampton is worth it as a teleport. Or whether it's better to just drive straight through. To the intersection to go through to Plymouth. Not positive. Oh, that's right. It's the other side of the road. Oops.
So there's traffic there, so we're going to go this side of the road. Find our way through here. There should be a way for us to cross back over again up here. Yep. Good. Allows us to keep left again. Gets us the inside line on that corner, basically. But now we'll just stay this side, because it's kind of safer. Don't know if it matters hugely. I imagine there's a few breaks in the median. You're going to have to break some of these corners, probably, if there's traffic in the way, though. Ah, yeah, we did want to stay on the right-hand side. I've forgotten about this intersection up here. Darn, that's like a, I don't know, 10 second time loss or something, probably. Oh, well. We'll just remember that for next time. Not that there probably will be a next time. Up we go. Yeah, see, ideally we want to be on the other side there to be able to get the smoother entrance up here. Because once you're on the motorways, driving on the wrong side of the road is pretty trivial. Because you can always go on the shoulder. Uh, or the fastest lane is often unoccupied. That said, I haven't seen a median cross anywhere along here. Ah, and we want the left turn up here. So actually, I was right, I think, to stick with that purely accidentally. But this, I think, is more worth it. Honestly, it's probably about break even, I'm not sure. Now we're going to try and navigate these corners having the best line that we can to avoid having to break. And then at a certain point up here we should get, yep there's my GPS marker, we'll see whether we can get the walk to Southampton off smoothly. May or may not be worth it because it is pretty much just a straight motorway run otherwise. For all I know, I think maybe warping even all the way back here might work. Go as far as this. Southampton, there we go. Don't split, we don't have a split for this one. We probably should. Should really have added one. So Southampton unfortunately is a little bit off the beaten track in terms of the main roads. got to go work our way back up to the M27 uh, and we've got oh good that's yeah thank you truck you held the traffic for me <laughs> convenient gonna be doing it a little bit more than 48 you can see where we walked on the GPS map bottom right and it's just a case of whether or not this leg here and the fact that we do get a smoother intersection onto the motorway up here is worth it. I think it probably works out. So we can go up here. And now we engage cruise control. Otherwise we'd have kept driving down the M3 and we'd have come up on the other side there. We'd have had to cross the center line somehow and come up on the opposite side and just keep going on the opposite side for as long as we needed to before we could swap again which looks like it would be just up here so not too big a deal so now I've got to go on the A roads which get a little bit skinnier and more dangerous as we get along and are a bit windier than you would like. And then we can jump through to Plymouth. So this is where we need to break for some corners, especially when there's traffic in the way. Yeah, now it starts getting skinnier. And it starts getting twistier. 
because we have to start sliding the truck around. Just as well the speed cameras are blind. Sometimes just feathering the brake gives you a, a nice little kick on this cave version. Sometimes that's all you need. Now, if we encounter any traffic going the wrong way, or in such a way that we can't get past, we're probably just going to have to despawn it. And we do that by swapping the vegetation quality and forcing a reload of the area around us. Hopefully I won't have to do that. It's basically a 6 to 10 second time loss depending on your menuing speed. malfunction even though we're at 10 percent whatever whatever game I disagree so through these corners past the gas station Ooh, that was closer than I expected He's an annoying spot because I wanted to cut through that corner. Past the gas station, round the corner, and there's a road sign, I think, is where I was meant to do the walk. Onto the flat. I think it's this road sign up here, basically. Plymouth. There we go. Now I've got to make our way to the ferry. Thankfully it's not far. Oh hey, a recruitment agency. <laughs> go just a little bit further than ideal we don't have the services you know Ooh, okay let's just break suddenly there rather than take too much more damage than we want not quite sure what we bounced across there dangers of breaking too hard i guess Yeah, it would be nice if the services were located just, like, right next to the ferry. At least you don't have to drive onto the boat there. And we want Bilbao. We do at least get to go through Iberia in this, which is nice. That's one of the other reasons I like this particular routing. We go through a lot of the DLCs. <laughs> Uh, honestly, we do this because this is much quicker than driving that short distance. So it's just a bunch of curves, and we don't need corners in our life. These loading screens are really long for the DLCs. And out we go, have to wait for the gate again. And we have to deal with other traffic again. It's extremely annoying. We're just going to cut you off. No, you're going this way too. That's fine. I will undertake you. Now here we have to worry about tolls, which is extremely annoying and why you don't really want to do this in an actual run. Uh, we don't cut across there because if we do, there's no way to get through the toll road further along. So I'm barely certain there's not another break in the median, which means we would be just a little bit screwed. It would make for a better corner further along, 
but I'm fairly sure it's a bit of a hard stop that you just can't go through a toll booth backwards. <laughs> I, admittedly, I didn't try. But it's not one of the ones that you just drive through, there is actually a gate. Or some other gemstone rather than a gate, one of the two. Still have 12 gear. We're fine with that. Now the downside to their efforts in making cities and such much more realistic in more recent DLCs is they're much more cumbersome to get around, especially when you're trying to go fast. <laughs> but it is a much better experience as a casual player. So up here is the toll booth not any break in the median the whole way along here so if we were on the other side we would have to figure out a way to go through it backwards instead what we do have to do is slow down a fair bit otherwise we'll just smash into the barrier you pretty much have to be going 40 or lower to be able to get through it but now we can accelerate again and the advantage of once you've gone through it is it's a pretty clean road from this point. Burgos unfortunately is screwing up our ability to service skip any further. Otherwise I'm fairly sure the Zaragoza boundary would be a little bit closer. But that's fine. But the roads are really nice through there at least. Unfortunately the traffic is not. <laughs> but what can you do? Please don't pull out, thank you. <laughs> Last thing we need is brave AI. Yeah, like that person did. Um, where is it that we walk? I think it's once we get over here. Is it the bridge? No, it is not the bridge. Is it the underpass? Close enough. You can see how crucial the load time remover is for something like this, for this style of strategy. Because we've spent basically two minutes in loading. <laughs> So now we've got to make our way through here. Once again, this is just the kind of the annoyance of modern DLC, where you can see that we've come to this part of the city instead of the bit further north. And unfortunately, we can't do like we do in ATS, where we can just turn off different types of truck. I'm fairly certain that's not an option in this, because the Iveco dealer is the one we just came from, I believe. We'd really love to be able to just disable that. <laughs> so now we need to go this way, and unfortunately, of course, going the wrong way, the GPS does not mark it. <laughs> I think I then keep left. <laughs> I think I want to go down here. Now we are going to come up to another toll booth, thankfully. This one has a small bit where I can cross the center line again. I should put my high beams on for the small amount of difference that that makes. 
this is where it gets tricky in a run where it's at night I can't see a damn thing traffic is stupid it's not going to behave predictably okay and we just had an air malfunction in pitch black ah <laughs> uh, wonderful you do have to slow down a little bit for that corner not quite that much unfortunately that's where the engine malfunctions can really get you note to self if you have more than 10 percent damage maybe repair at zaragoza so that you don't get screwed up by that again insofar as it matters because we probably won't do this running again. i'm not sure whether or not jumping to that service station would actually be advantageous at that point because it's pretty close to get back onto the motorway and then you could get back onto the correct side sooner instead of going all the way to the toll booth but by the same token the fact that you have to slow down for the toll booth anyway makes it less risk to be able to get across to the right side of the road again I haven't noticed any other ways across currently Thankfully, there appears to be no traffic on this side of the road. Yep, spoke too soon. <laughs> what was I just saying? Okay, so now I really need to slow down. Slow down, because then I have to jump across here. But I also have to slow down to 40 or so anyway, in order to be able to get through this. And there we go. Once again, a lot more driving than we would like to do. The regular route for this, uh, for like the world record and such, you're bouncing all your way down uh, Western Europe instead, and you make your way through to Barcelona via Marseille, I think. You catch the ferry from Marseille to Barcelona and then get across to Naples. We're getting to Barcelona a bit more manually, I guess. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. It's different, and I like different. And like I said, to do a current, or to do a top leaderboard run on this now, you have to not be on the current version, you have to be on an older version, which you can opt into quite easily on Steam using the beta branch system. You just drop back to like 1.41 or something. I forget what exactly it is that the other lads run on. I think it's about that you need to have the changes that include the ferry routes that get across from Barcelona to Naples. So it means you, you do need Iberia. But you don't want any of the Germany, the most recent Germany reworks. You just take what's necessary or what you have to, essentially. Okay, this is... Oh, crap. Okay, if I can limp to here then I can walk to the services still and repair that'll have to do Barcelona good whatever split I was comparing against I was down on apparent And now let's let's do some servicing, shall we? So that could have been much worse if we'd taken that sort of damage much earlier. That pretty much would have been a reset. These intersections are really annoying to have to navigate. Again, realism's all well and good. Not so great when it comes to speedrunning. <laughs> it's a nice challenge. I mean, if there was an excuse to have to come through here, I have no objections, realistically, to having to do that sort of technical driving as part of a run. 
it's just not really required by the, the normal routing. So going through Hanover as it's been reworked is probably still better. But again, this is kind of fun. Okay, I have no idea what I hit so hard that I already am on 11% damage again. Sometimes it'd just be like that. Game be like, yeah, have some damage. I guess an all Iberia viewpoints run would probably have to do this sort of thing. And bounce and stop. Cool, first step, Naples. I guess we'll just call that a split there. And then from here we go, Naples, Sphere Destinations, Palermo. And then we go, Services, just to jump there. Gets us just a little bit further. Once again, just like in Burgos, it just gets us there without having to drive that little distance. And now we're going to have to wait for the gate in. I, oh, okay, we're, we're just going to have to hit some traffic, it seems. Would it be quicker just to walk back to the services again? It probably would. Uh, okay. You never can tell when there's going to be traffic. I mean, you can by just looking left, but, you know. <laughs> I probably should have seen that coming as I turned out. Oh, whatever. So we just follow the GPS now. That's like another, what, 20 seconds or something at least. Oh, well. We're this close to finishing that I'm not going to reset just because of that. We could have just limped if we really wanted to, but I'd just be suffering so many engine malfunctions, it's just not worth it. And you're just that close to the services anyway. Honestly, if I'd just gone F7 again and immediately just called for the services again, probably would have been quicker. I wonder what the best version is for IGT now, actually. Probably doesn't really matter. I needed to get that slide going a bit later when I was still going faster. Never mind. I seem to remember the other guys were saying there was some other little minor physics tweaks that also resulted in the trucks just not having quite as high top speed on the most recent versions. Can we make that turn? Yes we can. They keep just kind of tweaking the handling here and there which tends to make it more realistic which is nice. It's just not as fast. Okay, and up here, the service point is just after this section here. There's another barrier appears, and it's just before that, I think. Is it here? It was probably slightly earlier. But we call time there. Technically, the time is until you, the instant you appear on the service pad, but it's because it's done and we remove the load times anyway so there we go Tampere to Catania via Isbjerg, London, Plymouth, Zaragoza and Barcelona nice <laughs> unfortunately we don't have like the flashing like the nice light LED lights that we do in American Truck Simulator but still Pretty happy with that, bit of a meme run, but uh, those are sometimes the most entertaining. So I hope you've enjoyed it, 
and uh, we may or may not do a proper proper run of this at some point after I've down patched but watch out for my upcoming series on doing the deliveries to the Hanover ITS for the special community event that's going on at the moment uh, that will be September for us in ETS 2 then we might get back into doing some more of the speed runs if they require all the versions of the game until then we're going to stick with the current version of the game thank you very much for watching